You trudge through the snow into a familiar ice cream parlor, bereft of anyone save for two employees and a tired-looking man sitting at the lone table. He turns to you and clears his throat. Um, pardon me. He beckons to get your attention. They asked me just to sit here so they could bring out what they have. It's the only table, so if you want to sit, feel free. <laughs> the man appraises you with a shy smile and tired eyes. Hmm, hell of a storm, huh? I should start a betting ring for how many times I've heard it'll let up in a few hours. Maybe it's actually sentient and won't quit until we ignore it. Who knows? <laughs> I know that look. That's the, is this guy okay look. I think I have a resting tired face or resting zombie face. Or I stay up too late binging shows I've seen a million times. For what it's worth, I think your frost golem look is cute too. Sorry, I'm just kind of surprised anyone else would venture out into a blizzard for ice cream. Why'd I come out? I guess it just felt like an ice cream kind of day, you know? Even if we're in the middle of a blizzard and stuck in this shop for a bit, it's kind of nice, right? Yeah, like, you know those moments where you dread showing up somewhere or doing something for one reason or another? Then the thing or plan gets cancelled and you just instantly feel a million times better. <laughs> it's silly, but there was a time in high school when we got the day off suddenly and nobody told me. I guess in the hurry they forgot to lock one of the doors leading into the lunchroom from outside and I popped right in. It took me a bit to realise what had happened, and at first, I panicked. When the fear wore off, I can't even describe the feeling, like being eager for Christmas morning. My first thought? Fire up the cafeteria fryers. Hell yes, I made myself a school lunch. I was way better at slinging grease than those surly gents were anyway. You both watch the snow fall outside, the quiet, oddly comfortable. I'm Danny, by the way. Before you can answer, an employee brings you both over cones. Oh, ice cream's here. Thanks, Jay. I appreciate it. Oh, did you have winter crisp? You only have winter crisp, huh? Well, what do you think, my new friend? Care to give fate a chance? And there's the spirit. You take the cone and thank the apologetic employee before they hurry off. Winter crisp, it's baked cinnamon apple, cranberries and graham crackers and vanilla ice cream. Pretty good, if I do say so myself. And Hey, you're lucky, this is the only month they serve it. Yeah, I guess I'm enough of a regular to know the flavours of the month. Still kind of wild, huh? Fate, I guess. You're a regular too, huh? Damn, I wonder if we crossed paths before and never even realised it. I don't think so, to be honest. I definitely would have remembered you. He smiles, eyes bright despite the bags under his eyes. I think we were exchanging names before we got interrupted, so... Hi, I I'm Danny, and you are... Hmm, I like that name. So now that we're besties, can I ask a question? Well, I, I came out here because it felt like an ice cream kind of day. 
For me, those days are usually not the best ones. Now, I could be wrong, and it's obviously not my business, but if you feel comfortable sharing, I'm happy to listen. He listens, occasionally going for a bite of his cone and missing horribly. Ah, Valentine's Day blues, huh? Yeah, same. I can't even remember the last time I went on a date. But at the very least, I'm learning to appreciate my own company. Even if I can be a massive dick sometimes. Trust me, I would know. That long for you, huh? Don't beat yourself up for it. Without another person to work on, I think folks like us just have to be satisfied working on ourselves. <laughs> no, I don't consider myself a Buddhist monk. Unless you count sitting on the floor, belly hanging out and smiling for no good reason. <laughs> I am the master at that, sure. And eating chips with no hands while reading. Can't get grease on the pages, you know. I'm a gerbil reader, I gotta be nibbling on something. Hey now, I don't critique your hobbies. Mostly because I don't know them. He cocks his head slightly. You don't really know them anymore either. Ah, you started a lot of them just to pass the time and keep your mind off being alone. I get that. This is probably weird, but... I know I'm just some random guy you just met, but... I'm not going to judge you. I mean, I get lonely a lot as well. No matter how content I am by myself, there's always that tiny little stab of longing, you know. But in a weird way, I think... It's, keeps us from giving up entirely. I think I just missed the contact the most. Who knew touch starved was a thing, huh? Makes me feel kind of gross, I guess, like a horror movie monster hissing, let me feel your skin, or some nonsense. <sighs> it's all rude. <laughs> Ignore me. I think all this sugar is actually giving me some energy back. W would I like to hold hand? I would be delighted to hold your hand, my new friend. Two strangers in an ice cream shop have done weirder things, I'm sure. You take his hand and he gently squeezes yours. This is nice. And simple, huh? <laughs> Dumb human brains, almost making a mountain out of a molehill. Look, I can say wholeheartedly, honestly, and without a shadow of a doubt, that I would be interested in getting to know you better. I've never had such a meaningful conversation with a stranger before. Not even Steely Dan. <laughs> oh, no, no. He's the dog walker for the bakers. He smiles again and squeezes your hand gently. I, I do need to get going, unfortunately, but if you're not too worried about some oddball discussing philosophy with you at an ice cream parlour in January, then maybe we could make it ice cream in February instead. <laughs> oh, it wasn't that smooth. Come on, I haven't even proposed yet. All right, I'll behave. Yeah, let me see your phone. There's my number. Just gonna save it under weird ice cream guy. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah. Look, hey, thanks for making my day a lot better. If you're feeling up to it, maybe we can marathon some bad movies or something. No pressure, of course. I'm happy to meet you wherever you feel most comfortable. Yeah, I'll talk to you soon, but... One more thing. You look out for Cupid, all right? I hear he can get a little trigger happy this time of year. Especially when it comes to people he takes a fancy to. Hmm. Stay safe, my new friend. With that, 
your mysterious new friend vanishes into the blizzard and stuffed into his coat and whistling.